Hello guys, welcome back to Super Recaps. Today I will show you a sci-fi, thriller movie from 2017 called Lucid Dream. Watch out for spoilers ahead. This film portrays the narrative of a parent searching for his son who has gone missing. He hasn't discovered anything regarding his whereabouts after three years of searching. However, after attempting a newly invented method in which he can visit his past in his dreams, he begins to receive some hints. Is he going to be able to uncover the truth? Let's find out. The film's plot starts with the main character, Daeho, who works as a reporter. He gets into difficulties because he enjoys exposing high-ranking official scandals. He doesn't mind the heat, though, because he's doing it in the name of justice. He has an appointment with his son to go to an amusement park together one day because he doesn't get much time with him due to his job. He discovers that his son's hand has been wounded at home. He is furious at the caretaker because his son cannot be injured due to his medical condition. They then proceed to the amusement park to ride various rides. A photographer covertly shoots shots of Daeho and his son when they visit a show there. He comes up to him and asks why he takes their images covertly after noticing this strangeness and realizing that he is a reporter with many adversaries. The photographer said that seeing the closeness between him and his son has really touched him, therefore he photographs them. He even offers to email the images to Daeho, which he accepts. Since that occurrence, he has begun to become more observant of the people in his environment. Then he walks to a stand to get food for his son and runs into a stranger. He is unconcerned about it until he discovers that his son is not at his seat after Daeho brings back the food he bought. Daeho becomes concerned and begins looking for his kid. He is relieved to discover his son seated by the water fountain. He is depressed since his mother has moved to America and he will no longer be able to see her. His smart son, on the other hand, begins to suspect that his mother may not be in America after all, urging his father to tell him the truth. He makes his father pledge not to abandon him as his mother did there, and Daeho accepts the commitment. He wants to go on a merry-go-round after that. While recording him riding a merry-go-round outside the gate, he realizes his son is missing after one round. When he turns to look around, he gradually loses consciousness and realizes a needle has stabbed his leg. He tries to stay awake, but he can't. His son is abducted by someone else, which is the last thing he sees. Three years have passed, and Daeho has struggled to locate his kid, despite collecting all of the images he has. He has also sought assistance from a police detective named Song, but no one knows where his son is. Despite this, he never gives up his search for his son. He scans the internet one day and discovers the news about Lucid Dream. It claims that a Lucid Dream led to the discovery of the criminal in another country. A Lucid Dream is a state in which the experiencer can return to a setting in which he wishes to learn more about the experience in a dream. In addition, he discovers that the creator is his doctor friend So Hyun. This strategy appeals to him, so he phones Hyun right away. Hyun initially refuses to use Lucid Dream on Daeho since she is unsure if it will be beneficial and can injure the patient if used repeatedly. Daeho, on the other hand, urges that Hyun perform it on him since he believes it is the only way to get the clues. Hyun, in the end, is willing to go through with it. She describes how Lucid Dream works to Daeho. He can only stay in Lucid Dream for a maximum of 10 minutes. The only difference between reality and a lucid dream is that the second hand on the watch does not move. Hyun tells him that if he wants to wake up, he must click the tool button she has given him. After fully comprehending Hyun's instructions, he begins to be injected with lucid dream liquid. He eventually entered a lucid dream. When he is in a lucid dream, he still needs adaptation. He recalls the incident at the amusement park where he and his son were. He retraces the events from beginning to end, observing the people in his environment. Then he discovers a man's face he's never seen before. He is wary of that individual. He pursues him to the top of a building when he abruptly awakens from his dream. He is confused as to why he is able to awaken from his dream without pressing the tools button. Hyun inquires if he did anything that deviated from the event's initial rhythm. Daeho answers her questions. He claims to have attempted to track down a suspicious man he had never met before and informs Hyun about his traits. Then Hyun shows him a drawing that reflects the qualities. Daeho confirms he saw the man shown in the drawing while he was in lucid dream. When Hyun hears this, he tells him to avoid that man because he appears in everyone's dreams when they experience lucid dreams. He then asks Hyun to inject the liquid once again because he wants to try it again. He discovers a clue in the form of a tattoo on the right hand of his son's kidnapper. He has been trying to gather clues from lucid dreams since that day, and he has told Song that it works. Song continues his inquiry after that. They strive to connect the dots from the new clues they receive every day. He even requests that the burger seller to perform the lucid dream because the tattooed man purchased stuff from his stall the day his son went missing. To cut a long story short, two suspects called Yu, the man who stabbed the needle, and Choi, the man with a tattoo on his hand, have been identified. As a result of these findings, his hope for finding his son grows by the day. During the investigation, however, there is an issue. 
Choi was involved in a car accident two years ago and remains in a coma in the hospital to this day, according to one of the cops. They can't get any information from him because his condition isn't improving and he could die at any time. Daeho awoke the next morning after spending the night in the police station while investigating the case. When he exits the detective's office, he notices that the detective is on the phone with his daughter. Daeho then tells Song that he has to leave the office because he has to go elsewhere. Daeho visits a private detective named Kang and asks for his assistance in finding Yu. When Daeho enters Kang's residence, however, it turns out that he is being followed by a mysterious man. The following day, Kang informs that Yu is at the airport on his way to another place. Daeho then goes to the airport to grab Yu before his flight, calling Song to inform him that he has located him. Daeho looks for him everywhere until he notices a man in a black suit entering the restroom. He walks follows the man in the black suit to the restroom and checks each room one by one. When he realizes Yu has changed his attire and has run away, he runs from the toilet and pursues Yu to the parking lot. He grabs him and frantically inquiries about his son's whereabouts. Yu claims to know nothing about his son and claims that Choi is the only one who knows anything. Yu also claims that his son may not be alive anymore. Daeho is taken aback by this information and refuses to believe it. Song then appears and arrests Yu. Since his son was abducted, he has been convinced that it was the work of someone who has a grudge against him and whose crime has been uncovered. Song then invites Daeho to join him in a little stand for a drink. Song tells him about his daughter, who has suffered from heart illness since birth. As a result, she is unable to speak correctly in a regular manner. She and his son are the same age. To console Daeho, he promises to keep looking for his kid until he is found. The next day, he receives a call from a police officer informing him that something horrible has occurred in Yu's cell. According to Song, this occurrence must have been arranged by an insider. Daeho is enraged because he has lost one of the most crucial clues. When Daeho travels to the hospital to see Hyun, he notices an important person being led by a large number of bodyguards. Chairman Zhou is his name. Daeho asks Hyun why was Chairman Zhou there. It turns out that he uses lucid dreaming to communicate with his son, who died in a vehicle accident. Hyun wonders if he is one of the many enemies Daeho has as a result of his reporter job. Chairman Zhou, on the other hand, cannot be a suspect, according to Daeho, because he has never had a problem with him. To persuade himself, he pays a visit to his reporter pal and inquires about Chairman Zhou's information. His friend claims that he didn't have a problem with him, but that he did reveal his son's crime scandal. He then goes on to say that his son was in a car accident and died due to a lack of blood transfusion. His blood type is MKMK, a highly rare blood type with only 20 persons in Korea having it. Daeho is taken aback because his son's blood type is MKMK as well. He quickly assumes that the culprit is Chairman Joe, who is seeking vengeance for his son. Then he follows him to his workplace when an unexpected event occurs. Instead of Chairman Joe, he sees the mysterious man named Quan whom he met in his first lucid dream. Quan then explains to him that he does truly visit his dream by sharing his dream. He equalizes the frequency of their dream waves, in other words. After then, Daeho has the brilliant idea of entering Choi's dream to see what truly happened from Choi's perspective. Quan agrees to assist him and begins working on his sharing dream. Daeho seeks clues after successfully accessing Choi's dream. He comes upon a list of people with a rare blood type. Daeho tries to recall all of the people's name. He also observes how Choi ended up in a car accident. He sees the license plate of the car that caused him to crash in that dream. When he wakes up, he immediately seeks out Kong and requests that he locate the owner of the car. After that, he goes to the police station to inform Song that he has received further information from their shared dream. Then he starts looking up information on those people's names till he finds out about a patient named Su Jin. He rushes to the hospital, where she is being treated. He walks into her room and inquires about Su Jin's health with the nurse. She has heart disease, according to the nurse. Kang also contacts him and informs him that he has located the car's owner. Detective Song reveals out to be the real culprit all along. Because they both have the same uncommon blood type, he kidnaps his son in order to remove his heart for his daughter. Dae Ho rushes to his car, unaware that Song had already been hiding in his car to kidnap him. Then Song leads him to the lakeside and informs him that his son is still alive. He also has no idea where he is because, rather than taking his son to Song, Choi kept his boy somewhere unknown because he felt bad after stealing him. Choi subsequently managed to flee, but Song tracked him down and chased him until he was involved in a car accident. However, thanks to Daeho, he now knows about the previous, shared dream, he had with Quan and intends to repeat it in order to discover where he hid him. He is going to drown Daeho in the lake, but Kong intervenes and saves him. Song then pays a visit to Quan and pushes him to create a shared dream with Choi. Daeho, with the support of Hyun, accomplishes the same thing as him. They meet in Choi's dream and fight to find out where his son is. After a long struggle, Daeho defeats Song and learns the location of his son before Choi dies. 
Song apologizes to his daughter for failing to obtain a transplant for her as he passes through Choi's ruined dream world. After a three-year nightmare, Daeho is reunited with his kid at the end of the story. He returns to Namhae Catholic Church to pick up his son and they live happily ever after. There must be challenges to deal with in life. You have a responsibility to handle the difficulty you're facing without hurting or damaging others, which means you can't pass your difficulties on to others for the purpose of your own enjoyment. Do you think Detective Song's kidnapping of Dae Ho's son to save his daughter was reasonable? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe and turn on the notifications to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching, see you next time.